Hello and welcome back to my channel. Today I want to talk about my VWT5 and the problem I've been having with the uh, front driver's seat over there. Uh, I've had that problem now for about six years and in this little video I'm going to show you exactly what I've done about it. You may have seen some of my videos about my T5 in the past. I've had this van for six years. It's a VW T5 5.1 uh, Highline T30. Uh, it's quite a quite a nice van, really. Six speed, uh, two liter, as they as they mostly all are. But yeah, very nice van. The problems I've been having are to do with the front seat and the positioning of the front seat to get it into a position where it makes driving long long distances uh, reasonably comfortable. Short distances were okay, you could drive you know, 10, 20 miles and it wasn't too bad, but it wasn't soon uh, after you uh, set off that you started to feel slightly uncomfortable in the seat and uh, you have a little twinge in your back and you, you can't really ever seem to adjust the seat position or the steering wheel position to try and solve those little problems. Now this T5.1, because it was a Highline model, was fitted with the standard VW captain's chair with the two armrests and uh, all of the adjustments necessary. It had a lumbar support, uh, rise and fall of the seat, front and back, back tilts, all, all of the sort of things you'd find on every captain's chair. So I thought this can't be right. So I, I looked online, looked on all the VW forums uh, that I could find and uh, yeah, asked, asked some questions and posed some questions. And it all came back to the fact that it was probably me and, and my posture and my core, you know, my core muscles. Well, I'm, I'm a cyclist. I do, you know, hundreds of miles a week and, uh, you know, reasonably fit. So, so my, my core and my body are actually, you know, okay, really. I, don't, I didn't really feel it was a, a muscular problem or a posture problem. It was more about the fact that the seat seemed to be somewhat misaligned. So I decided that the seat was probably misaligned as, I, as when I was sitting on the seat my left knee was right up against the uh, gear stick uh, housing uh, and that's quite a common complaint that you crush towards the, the gear stick on the uh, on the dashboard. I've got quite a few vehicles and I decided that what the best thing to do was was to measure the seat position in relation to the steering wheel. I've been driving Volkswagen light commercials for about 30 years. I've owned one continually for the last 30 years. T2, T25, LT, T4, a couple of T4s and this T5. And uh, you know, the fire engine as well, the, the Mercedes. I thought, well, there's gotta be something, something odd here because all of those vehicles are perfectly comfortable to drive. So I thought what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna measure the seat position, the center of the seat position in relation to the steering wheel because that's what I really thought was wrong on this T5.1. I also measured the up as well, the VW up that I've got, because that has got one of the most comfortable driving positions I've ever had on a small car. When you look over the captain's chair, first glance, it looks like it's aligned correctly. Um, but what, what I decided to do is I, I measured the center of the seat cushion and uh, marked the line at the front and the back of the seat cushion uh, so that I could line up the seat cushion with the uh, steering column. And, and when I did that, I was quite surprised to find out that the center of the steering column on this T5.1 this T with the captain's chair, the center of the seat was three and a half centimeters to the left of the center of the steering column. And that is probably why when you drive this van, you feel like you have to sort of sit slightly slightly facing the right and that means that the pedal alignment is out as well you've got a, 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 you know, a much longer leg for the clutch um, you know a longer bend in your leg for the clutch it's it's it's, it's just not comfortable so if I I'd, I'd, yeah it's really tricky to describe and show you on these on these uh, videos because the alignment is obviously subjective and wherever the camera is faced but the actual measurements do support that the center of the seat were three and a half centimeters out of alignment from the center of the steering column. And that's not something I found on three or four other vehicles that I measured. And the VW up, the center of the steering column was in the center of the driver's seat. So that's what I need to solve. All right then, over the last uh, few weeks, I've uh, set about solving this problem. Uh, first thing I did was I bought a seat from a VW up. It's uh, one centimeter narrower than the captain's chair on the T5.1 and it doesn't have the um, armrests. In order to install the seat into the van, I've had to make a custom subframe. And now while I was making this subframe, I decided to move the seat so it would be centered on the steering wheel. So let's have a look at that process, me making the uh, seat uh, subframe and installing the seat into the van. 
Right, so after much uh, fabrication, faffing around, this is what I've come up with. This is a uh, adapter plate, which I've, I've made, made to measure to fit the standard VW T5 seat base and adapt uh, a VW up seat to it. Uh, so um, yeah, there we are, slightly oversized holes for a little bit of adjustment, uh, made out of uh, black steel, five millimeters, giving me a 15 millimeter lift from the T5 seat base. So I'm gonna go and try and fit this now and fit the up seat to it and see how it drives. All right, so I've come around to the uh, driver's side of the van. I've got the captain's seat out. Uh, I just wanna show you this. This is the original set of seat runners, uh, which I want to keep. I want to keep these because just in case I, you know, get this horribly wrong, and uh, take notice of all of the comments about how I've done this wrong, uh, I will at least be able to get another captain's chair, put it back on here, and it will be exactly as Volkswagen intended. Uh, it won't be what I like, but it will be how Volkswagen intended it. So, so what I've done is I've retained the seat runners, retained all of the original fixing nuts and bolts. I have seen on YouTube quite a few videos of people butchering this, drilling holes, welding bits onto it. I didn't want to do that. I wanted to make sure that I actually fabricated something that kind of sympathetically worked with this, this setup. Um, so it could be reversed at any point should I decide that's the right thing to do. While we've got this seat off, you can see my uh, Planar Auto Term D2 heater. This is quite nice, quite like this. Uh, fitted through the floor uh, and tapped into the fuel tank just over there. Uh, only one vent, but quite a nice little heater, quite good. There's just one last little strange thing on this uh, on this seat. This this is the uh, seat belt clip um, sensor. There's one of those on the on the up seat as well. Um, but I, I just tested this by connecting it to the up seat. And it, it didn't seem to make any difference. The, the T5 didn't really notice that there was no seat belt um, plugged in. So I'm not sure if that actually needs to be connected or not. It doesn't seem to make any difference to the van. The van still thinks that um, the seat belt is being worn. So I might just uh, tie that up under there, keep that out of the way and connect it if necessary. As you can see, that fits quite nicely over six of the bolts which hold the, the seat onto the runners. Now, the T5 seat seemed to have four millimeter steel feet, maybe five, but I think it was four. So this is five, but there's still enough, enough um, room on the bolts to bolt these down. So that, I'm gonna use the original nuts and bolts where possible. I think the only problematic one is going to be this one where I haven't quite got enough space there where I've I've um, kind of made this bit a bit too large, but I can use a standard nylock on there and that will be fine. So I'm just going to bolt this up now and position it where I think it needs to be. Once I've done that, I'll have a look at the up seat and see if I can get the up seat on. Alright, so that's bolted up. You can see then that the uh, original seat runner moves the seat. So that's quite nice. So I'm quite pleased with that. I think this is uh, as good as it's going to be. Just make sure these are fully tight. They are, they're fine. Um, right, now let's go and have a look at the up seat. Alright, this is the underside of the seat. These are the mounting pads this is three millimeter steel so uh, i've got plenty of enough uh, strength in my five millimeter steel plate uh, i've got six pads on this uh, particular seat so that will fix down quite nicely this is a seat from actually it's from uh, a skoda city go uh, and that had an airbag uh, so here's the airbag connector i'm not going to be using that because obviously the t5 doesn't have any seat airbags so it doesn't fire the airbags on the seat so uh won't be needing that and this is the thing i was talking about a little while ago this is the seat belt uh clip sensor 
Uh, it seemed, the T5 seems quite happy without that being plugged in. So I'm not going to plug that in to start with. I'll have to see if uh, I actually do need that sometime in the future. But I'm just going to tidy this up, clip it up underneath the seat and then try and fit the seat into position. All right, you might have seen that I've decided to fit all of these with these five components, uh, with the exception of the front two, which I've needed to use the slightly longer M8 bolt. They're all high tensile steel, so they're all perfectly suitable for this. Washer, spacer washer, M8 high tensile bolt. Underneath is an engineering washer and a nylock. So I think that's very secure uh, probably exceeds what Volkswagen used to fix the T5 seat in the first place so that's what I've done I put these on tightened them all up I'm just going to go around now position the seat and just lock them off and uh, yeah then then we can try it all right so I've got the seat bolted up now uh, crucially I've got this uh, adjustment the up and down adjustment which is quite nice which is uh similar to the adjustment on the T5 seat. Also got the, the very basic back adjustment, which is quite nice on the, on the up seat. Quite like these, uh, these padded sections here. These are really useful, really nice uh, driving position. Seat's nicely fitted in, really nice and solid. And uh, it doesn't look too bad underneath. The black, black frame is kind of almost invisible, apart from that one silver bolt, which I may paint black. Um, the most important thing though is that this driving position is correct, entirely correct. The centre of the seat line is in the centre of the steering column line where if you remember before it was three and a half centimetres that way. I think one of the problems with the captain's chairs in these vans is that this, this part of the van has got so, so large that the the armrest needs extra spacing to fit in and it's not not really very useful the armrests i don't like them anyway so with this seat in this position um there's just a, a little bit of space in there but not not too much i'm not really sure if this makes a great deal of sense because i couldn't actually demonstrate this before from sitting here because you move just side to side and it it looks like it's moving quite a long way but actually now the steering wheel position is uh, central to the seat. And one, one other thing which I noticed is that when I was over this way, three centimeters, my knee was crushing up here against the gear stick housing. So if you've ever had that problem, I think it's probably worth just measuring your seat position to see if the seat is actually centered on the steering wheel and the pedals. This van, it wasn't. All right, so that's the seat installed in the van. It's just over here in front of me and it's been really successful. I'm really pleased with it. I've done about five, 600 miles in the van and given that I'd done about a thousand miles a year for the last two years because it was just so uncomfortable, uh, that's, that's quite a change. And uh, I'm down here today on the South Coast, uh, about 200 mile journey round trip with my bike for the weekend. And the seat is just absolutely fantastic. The up seat with its side bolsters on the cushion, uh, the seat cushion and the, the backrest, absolutely fantastic. Perfectly aligned in the center of the steering wheel. None of the problems that I had before with the captain's chair. Now, of course, this might still be down to me and the way I sit in a truck, but I, I, I'm not sure. This has made quite a, quite a difference to me and quite a difference to the usability of this van. So yeah, I'm really pleased with it. And uh, I'm, sure, I'm sure there'll be some comments. If there are some comments about this, leave them below. If you've had the same problems as me, perhaps you've done something differently. But you know, I, I haven't gone down the Saab or BMW seats or fitting some other seats. I've got a, a VAG seat in a VAG vehicle. I haven't modified the seat base to, to such an extent that I can't put the original seat back in. So yeah, no major changes. So I hope you like this video. If you have, please subscribe, leave me a comment or a thumbs up, that'd be great. And uh, perhaps I'll see you on the next one. Bye. <laughs>